three, two, one. Hi everyone, Kelly here. And today I have Tina from Alama Piano Studio. We are going to be discussing how Tina was able to grow her private studio to replace her income from her teaching job in just six weeks. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So Tina, let's kick it off with this. Could you please introduce yourself and your studio? Yeah, uh, so uh, hi everyone and uh, hi Kelly again. Uh, so uh, my name is Tina and I'm from Serbia. It's a very small country in Europe. And I connected with Kelly through um, another Facebook page. And immediately I was uh, drawn to her um, methods. So we kind of connected and then from then we worked on. And just to say for start, if I say something wrong, it's because of the language barrier. <laughs> so I will excuse me in advance. <laughs> no, your English is fantastic. You always do a great job. So Tina, tell me a little bit about your studio. Who is your ideal student and how long have you been teaching? Okay, so my ideal student, I just recently uh, finished profiling for that <laughs> chapter. So my ideal student is actually a kid or a child uh, aged between four and uh, 12. Uh, we kind of, um, in the process, me and Kelly, we changed a bit that narrative because we wanted, we, we just adjusted from the start, but um, also from now on, I will probably also take the adults. So this is maybe a small tweak, but my ideal student is basically whoever wants to uh, play, but after the interview, we will see if it's compatible with our ideas. Got it. So in, in your initial lesson with a student, you're looking to see if that personality and if their goals fit what you're looking for, correct? Exactly. Awesome. Awesome. And how long have you been teaching, Tina? So I have been teaching for 10 years now, uh, besides, so I, I never had actually my studio, but I was teaching, in, uh, I'm, I am also still teaching in a public school. So it's 10 year experience, uh, more or less. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Now, compared to other studios in your area, what makes your studio unique? Well, um, first of all, um, I wouldn't know exactly how the other studios are um, dealing with their inner, you know, <laughs> business and programs. I, I do hear something, but what I would say is that after Kelly's assessment, my studio was kind of structured and we are now, I mean, I <laughs> am offering, you know, like structured teaching, like we do the goals with students. We have, um, you know, initial interview, which I never actually had before that. Uh, so we have like planning of goals and strat strat strategies. And after that, I use, I started also using some new programs and I also offer um, a bigger range of um of things to teach. I, I didn't do that because I'm a classically trained pianist. So I only uh, usually used um, classical music, but now I'm switching to more broader um, approach. Yeah. Got it. And that's been something we worked on to work on your ideal student as well, right? Making sure that you're working with people you enjoy working with who may not always just want to learn classical music and, and might have some exactly. interest too. Yeah, it turns out that most of the people who are not, you know, interested in just uh, having exams and stuff would like to be, you know, like playing jazz or pop. Got so. it, got it, perfect. So let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> what were you doing um, I know it was a lot, but what were you doing before you and I started working together? Yeah, <laughs> so I was uh, working, uh, I am still working in public school, but I also was helping in another studio and I still kind of do, but right now I'm in a process of really building my own studio, which is a big change because in November 2020, I just made the decision to do it and I didn't know how didn't know when didn't know any 
of you know tools that I can make. I mean, I knew I want that, but I didn't know how to uh, assess it because I knew mm -hmm. it was a little bit more serious uh, approach than just a uh, decision you have to have a strat strat strategy. So, yeah. Absolutely. And it's okay. Yeah, so in talking. November, I didn't have any idea about that. <laughs> so we started working, I think, in December. We had a little bit of a break because of the COVID. Um, yeah. But then we started again. So yeah, we I know we had we had originally met in November, like you said on Facebook, and then we kind of went back and forth. I think it was after the new year. We we finally started yeah. like yeah, we got some momentum. We started again in January. So we had talked for a long time before we actually got started. Yes. And, and we knew what we wanted to do, but um, since then it's just been moving really really quickly. No more delays yes. now. <laughs> yes, I mean I, I remember our first call like it was yesterday and I was shocked like I you know of course there is difference between our you know not only community states mm -hmm. but approach and everything but I was shocked on how much in first conversation you offered mm -hmm. and not only offered in business wise but like you were very polite to me and very, uh, you know, easygoing. And that helped a lot, you know, because I had like instant, um, how do you say it? Like instant trust. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, well, this could work. And I remember me and you just uh, having a couple of message exchange. And I'm like, I really, I felt like really, I, I feel this was the good thing to do. And I don't, I mean, I normally don't, feel such an intense feeling, but I, I really like this. So I have to learn. So well, I'm so you. glad that you did because we've really enjoyed working together. It's been awesome to have you, have you in the program. It's been so much fun. So Tina, when you made that decision back in November, that something had to change mm -hmm. and you wanted to be doing something different at that point, what problems were you looking to solve? What was going on that you were frustrated with? Yeah, so first of all, I was very frustrated with the de decision. Is my studio positioned well? Like, it is in uh, in the house. So basically, it wasn't a studio like a classical that you have, you know, like a separate mm. facility or something. So I was very confused. Is that a good thing? And really soon, you, <laughs> you, were, you were so easy going. You're, you're just like, don't worry about that. So from the start, I had a lot of doubts about that. After that, I didn't have like financial structure at all, like at all. I didn't have any idea how to build a studio. Like we don't um, use that word build here, but it's actually a very good word. To, you know, you have to start somewhere. And I knew that you can advertise on Facebook, on Instagram, but basically everyone can do that. So yeah. I was like, I'm not sure how am I going to be different? I mean, I knew that I could do that once students are in my studio, but to a point to arrive to that point that <laughs> parents are calling, <laughs> get the first or couple. students are calling, <laughs> yes, you need to do something. And the information that we, you know, discussed it was brand new to me. Hmm. I'm not sure, you know, like <laughs> I, I never even thought about that kind of assessment. And it was psychological. Uh, it was very intentional and it was structured. So that's something that I really love. Good, good. So when we first got in contact, it was over Facebook, correct? I believe we met in a Facebook group. <laughs> <laughs> something about having a private studio and, and you'd made a post what initially piqued your interest in talking with me and, and kind of working through what we could do yeah, for the so studio connect, together I think I made a post on Facebook of I asked the question like where should I start and I was new in a group so I think my question was like oh another new member or something <laughs> it's a whole different group from yours now and I remember a few people answered like yeah and I was like oh they're telling me so much information mm -hmm. that I don't even understand and then you asked me a couple of questions and you said like let's schedule a call and I was like okay I mean we don't normally do uh, hear things like that but I was like okay and then and we, uh, we, we talked and as I said like you immediately asked me questions like 
what is your, you know, like student, perfect student looking like? And I'm like, well, I guess anyone. <laughs> and you're like, okay, that's for start. But then you actually, you know, you teach me, teach me or taught me. I'm oh, not sure. You yeah, you, you taught me <laughs> on how to actually, you know, make a firm decision. Of, like mm. you have to have, you know, structure and then move forward. Got it. Got it. So it's been, you know, we worked together for about six weeks and, and it's been intense, right? That, that period of time we moved really quickly. What results have you seen so far in these first six weeks? Yeah. So, um, we had six week trainings, I think two times per week, Mm -hmm. if something wasn't scheduled different. And, um, for anybody listening, uh, it's, very intense because you think that the week is long but then twice if you have assignments it's quite any if you're doing a job it's quite intensive you know and there will be some assignments and you know homework but the thing is that um I think that like the most of the things in life you need guidance like at first or at start and you know, it's like gym or something, you think, oh, I'm going to go. But if you don't have anyone just at start to just um, giving you support or just telling you how to do it's, it's probably going to go south at some point. (laughs) So it's the same here. So when we started, uh, from when we started to now, the difference is, I mean, I'm not sure whether people are going to believe me. (laughs) But it's like, different person like diff- I'm a different teacher and I'm not I think I'm not overreacting because I'm generally quite you know like um realistic and I would say <laughs> yes and I would say when we really first start working I was um not skeptical at you but in um in myself I guess you know how could I because when we did our uh, goals, we said like, oh, we will do that. And I'm like, I cannot even get a one student. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to find all of the rest yes. of these? <laughs> yes. Well, and then it, again, it moved quickly. So we got in, uh, for everyone listening, we, we kind of worked in the schools. So Tina worked on building relationships with some local music teachers and other community people and leaders that had contact with students she would want to work with. So you had, goodness, it went fast, maybe four or five school visits in the course of like a week or two. Yes, It was very quick. And then from there, I think within a week of your first couple of school visits, all of a sudden we had two students, correct? And the week after there were two or three more. (laughs) So the the momentum picked up really fast. Mm -hmm. So as you've added students, as, you, as your studio has grown and as you have been able to step back from the other studio you were working with, mm-hmm. what other areas of your life do you feel like have improved? I know you talked about this a little bit with, with how you're feeling in your confidence, mm-hmm. but what, what does that look like for you now? Well, um, just let me think for a couple of seconds. Yeah, because, you're okay. Um, I think that uh, a lot of people who will listen to this have maybe the same uh, problems. I think that's a general problem that you feel you're too far from the goal, but you are ready to start, but you're just dragging it. And when I'm saying dragging, like, oh, tomorrow, oh, I'll probably, or even say like, if, you know, starts collide, (laughs) something will happen, serendipity or something. But generally that day never comes because that day is usually every day to do something. And um, what happened with Kelly is she, that's why I said she was not only a good like business um, educator, but uh, foremost, I would say like she actually pushed me. And in the moment that I felt that there were moments that I was like tired or um, I wouldn't say not motivated, but tired or just overwhelmed, you switched that mindset, you know, like, okay, change that fear, which I was feeling, well, pretty much all the time, because it's always new, change it to, 
you know, some affirmations or even, you know, like changing the feeling for some different feeling or just doing it. And there were, uh, I think that the biggest problem for me was sending the letter for schools, offering myself, because that's usually not something that I do. Once I hit that send button, I died. <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, I, because I was like, what did I just do? Because it's a small area. Everybody knows yeah. each other. Oh, are they going to talk like, oh, she's offering so aggressively. Mm-hmm. But then I had positive response. I had some also, um, not negative, but like, oh, not at this point, but at the end of the day, like I showed up and you really, um, you know, acknowledge that. And you said like, you showed up to your life, you know, you showed up to those teachers. One of the teachers was like, yes, welcome to however, as many as class you want. And I was like, (laughs) I was starting and that from that moment, I think it was the moment I thought, wow. Okay. So we have this saying here in Serbia, it says like, um, which means a nice word opens iron doors mm. so I'm not sure is it translatable but you know if you say really nice word in right atmosphere with really good intentions like iron doors will open for you because you showed up and you had good intentions and basically I did have good intentions to teach students and I told you my goal wasn't always just to, you know, get students, get the money, go home. It was like, I want to build something new here. Mm -hmm. And from there, ideas just poured. (laughs) It's been so exciting to see things move quickly for you because like you said, I mean, you have these, you have these great intentions, you've got these big goals, you know, we've worked together on finding curriculum for you, even that was going to best serve your students outside of what has been normal for your area and and your expertise. So we worked really hard on making sure you had a comfortable teaching setup, a comfortable teaching curriculum so that it wasn't just what everyone else was doing because you had some, had some concerns about what that was and, and what that looked like. So in your in your experience, I want to talk about those iron doors. I love that saying. What were the iron doors that you ran into? What were some places that in your mindset as you were working through this process of building your studio, what did you run into and how did you kind of overcome some of those frustrations or some of those initial hesitations? Mm -hmm. So first of all, it was huge anxiety and fear over rejection so rejection was number one uh number two was not being good enough to offer you know um how was it start I mean I'm at that point I didn't even know how to write an interview uh sheet for my students so I had to you know I'm not sure whether people are doing it here. I guarantee not. But this was the first time that parents came and like had an interview sheet, like with very progressive and straightforward questions that we um, agreed, me and you. And that was something very new for my um, stu- my teaching. Mm. And um, so th- that the fear of rejection over something new. Um, and the third one, and I would say that <laughs> it was, I mean, not the biggest one, but not at least, was me um, confidently staying in my decision, whatever I do. Mm. So I, I really believe that there are people that are just thinking whether I should quit my job or, or start doing this or the thing is um, the fate is something very strange but the thing is once you you know you can't be here and somewhere else in the same time and I guess nobody is just um, pressuring you to quit your job and throw a bomb on that place but if in your head and this is why I think it was a milestone because in one moment you're just 
give me, uh, we say it here, you threw a bug in my head, like, what if it works? But nothing to say, like, what if it works? Like, here's an idea. And I was like, okay, like, and I started expanding in myself. And that in a business wise never happened because I always thought this is the way I have to go. Like, this is the way what at first what you're saying to me, yeah, supplemental things, very good, but I have to, you know, but right now I'm like, you know, why would that be my, you know, predictable road? And right now I feel like very motivated to, you know, Good. to do me <laughs> yeah yeah to make your own way and that's yes. something we've talked about a lot yes. I know and so in definitely fear days. if I would say like yeah. in one word it's fear from starting fear from rejection fear from students fear for you know when they come to class how are they oh is is a kid going to be like yeah I don't know and then I will be like oh I would try too hard but with your help I kind of you know I needed support to see your experience and you had experiences with every type of profile so we you know I think I remember one whole meeting we just talked about that and exactly that happened on my next meeting so I was you know more confident to overcome it absolutely absolutely so Tina why I know we, we had talked for a long time, right? It was from November to January <laughs> that we had kind of gone back and forth and had talked about what it might be like to work together. Why did you ultimately decide to work with me? So as I said, you, uh, you know, you, you were so trustworthy, like um, really. And that was the first, because I, I always go by my feeling and uh, it didn't cheat on me. <laughs> and really when we spoke, you, I, to be serious, like when we spoke, you gave me like this plan at our first talk. And I was like, this is a good plan. So let's start that. This is a good plan. It's well thought. It's like, it covers all the, you know, uh, areas that you want, even, you know, like, um, I mean, I guess it's all for everybody is different, but, you know, like it covers almost everything you need to know on how, how to start your own studio and start to build from awesome. there. So when we, when we talked through that plan, you felt good about it. Yes. What finally kicked you over the fence, so to speak? What, what was the thing that finally um, pushed you to, to go ahead and agree and let's, let's start working together when we did in January? Yeah, well, it was, I mean, it's not so long ago, but I think, um, I will be honest, I think my situation kicked me over the fence because it was not, you know, tolerable anymore. But when you, um, you were actually, you helped me with a lot of things that I couldn't solve at, at really that point. And you said, okay, let's make an offer for this and that. And you were so, you know, you know, easy to speak to. And I was like, I feel I should do this. So for everyone that is thinking or, you know, just um, having doubts, like, of course, you should do at your own, you know, decision. But if you need someone who will support you and really like um, multiple ways, I would really suggest Kelly. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. I appreciate it. No, that. you're welcome. I'm just honest. I, I really have to say that. <laughs> and I couldn't thank you enough because um, people that are take, to talking here, they're not, of course, musicians, but uh, Kelly also helped them through me because I said, like, raise your raise, go, you know, and, and they're like, yes. So, um, yes, it works. Tina's been, <laughs> Tina's been building other businesses in Serbia now. She, yes. she's, she's got this awesome, positive business mindset and she's spreading the good and news. Awesome. percentage. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. I'm not. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, oh I'm my just goodness. kidding. So <laughs> Tina, with, with everything that we've worked on now and, and, of course, like we said, you know, you, you're in the process of leaving this other studio right now, and you've been able to replace that income with your own private studio pretty quickly. What is your number one piece of advice for musicians that are looking to build private studios right now? So for first, like, even if you're shaking, like, 
tired. Like even I was shaking with my legs and, you, you know, when you go to teach, you feel like, oh my God, like this is going to suck and all the kids are going to. So it's something new. But eventually when you go out uh, of that classroom or whatever you you will do, you will feel much um you feel proud of yourself. So you're not only building your studio, you're building your confidence. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I feel that my confidence grew like immensely from November. And um, my advice is even though you're doubting, like, is it going to be possible? There are so many other studios that are working the same thing. And like, you know, but then you, as you, Kelly told me, like, what wow, you're doing this for so many years and just believe in yourself and mm -hmm. you know show up awesome awesome do you know where can people find out more about you in your studio yeah so right now uh i'm actually building my website so uh in some time that will be done mm -hmm. um through facebook mostly people can you know pm me and there's some stuff that me and Kelly were planning. So it's just an execution time. So I will not say too much, but, <laughs> you know, like yes. we have our strategy that we plan on releasing. So Facebook for now <laughs> and Instagram, I guess. <laughs> Perfect. Well, Tina. And also it... just, just to say something, which yeah. actually Kelly didn't even know and I forgot. Uh, we actually raised for un one student today. So it's a good news. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. it's a great day. That's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> well, your so studio is growing nice. so quick. <laughs> It's been so much fun to work with you and I appreciate your time today to just chatting about what we've done so far, but I know that there's a lot more on the horizon for you. So I'm excited to continue to see you grow and, and see things, like you said, blow up for yourself. <laughs> it's happening quickly. So thank you for your time, Tina. Thanks to everyone thank that's watching. You. We really appreciate it. Thank and you. Okay. Bye. Bye.